As you know, Corona 12 Update 1 has just been introduced and has added some amazing features that we have been waiting for a long time. We are going to experience a new level of speed and quality with the help of the added features. The most important added features include Live Link in Chaos Vantage, Artificial Intelligence, and more. In this video, we will review each of the features. Be with us in this review. Hello, and welcome to MimViz. Now you can explore your scenes in real time and get your renders in a fraction of a second. Yes, Vantage Live Link has finally come to Corona. You certainly know that using Vantage in real time is a much more engaging experience than normal mode because it allows us to make changes at high speed and achieve the desired results. To access Live Link, just go to Render Setup. In the System tab, next to the Render in Vantage option, a new section called Vantage Live Link has been added. Just click on it to transfer our scene to Vantage. As you can see, our scene opens properly in Vantage and we can move around in it. There is a lot of burn in the image and the reason for this is the ACES in Corona. When we lighting the Corona scene with ACES on, Corona controls the light in our image so that we don't have burn. You can see that our image is completely burnt out with ACES off, just like in Vantage. We can use Filmic to temporarily control the burn in Vantage. In fact, this wouldn't happen if we started lighting with Live Link from the beginning. Since we've rendered, we need to re enable Live Link. We'll run Filmic again to see the result. The materials are fully visible. There's only one problem with the sofa, which we need to check and make the necessary corrections. In this mode, we can easily apply all the changes to the scene and see the result in real time. Changes such as moving objects, playing with lights, and also changes to the material. For example, we select the parquet material and use color correct to darken or lighten it. The last point is that it is better to correct Corona maps with the help of Corona Color Correct. In some cases, color correction can be problematic. By moving around in space, you will see that everything is ready for rendering and animation. The Corona Frame Buffer has some small positive changes that are worth mentioning. In previous versions, we would click on this triangle to start the interactive rendering. Now, the interactive section has been separated and is easier to access by clicking on it. The next thing is the addition of auto adjustment, which we can use to control our exposure and white balance, which we will discuss in the next section. And finally, there is the addition of collaboration, which helps us a lot in the process of projects. One of the most interesting and widely used features that we have been using in V-Ray for many years 
is auto exposure and white balance, which helps us reach an initial balance at the starting point of lighting and then start creating our lighting scenario. We can use this version in Corona as well. First I create a sun and start rendering and activate the sky. By moving the sun, we find the right place for the light. You can see that some parts of the image are very burnt. We can control it with the help of auto adjustment. To do this, we select the relevant option in the Post tab. You can see that it controls the burn to a large extent. With the help of parameters, we can control their intensity and also add them to the tone mapping section by pressing bake, which can easily be restored to its original state. This feature helps us a lot because as we move through the space and look at the dark and light parts of the project, it quickly corrects the light and color to make it easier to see our space and make our corrections. You can also use animation when it's time. By checking this box, you can also have this control when we're taking animations, like when the sun is slowly shining into our interior. A great feature has been added to scattering that we will explore. Presets in distribution. In the surface scattering section and in distribution, we can choose different patterns so that our plants will spread out on the surface based on them. There are different modes that we can explore and use. You can also use a custom map to get a variety of results. To control how it spreads, you need to apply a UVW map to the surface you are scattering on and match its channel to the UV channel of the scatter. From this section, you can also select the number of plants and create different modes. And Caustic, which is available in this version with higher quality and twice the speed, has also been added with new features that help us have better control over it. In the render, you can see that this effect has not been added yet. To create it, we need to do a few things. In the first step, we need to enable the Caustic Solver in the render setup and in the performance section you can see that new items have been added, which we will discuss below. To see the result faster, I'll add this and the pool to the include list so that this effect will only be applied to them. We'll also add the caustic element so that we can see and examine the result separately. In addition, we need to enable caustic on the water material That's it. Now we can start rendering. If we go to the element, we can see the effect. A feature added to caustic is the surface multiplier, which helps us control the brightness of the caustic without changing the lighting and other parameters of the scene. The number one below makes our caustic darker, and above one makes our caustic brighter.
Overall, it helps us a lot to control the burn. In the image, you can see caustic with three different numbers. The next feature is volumetric caustic, which when enabled allows us to see reflected and refracted rays from volumetric materials such as water, smoke, and clouds. We will definitely record a separate video for this section so that you can familiarize yourself with creating it in different modes. Capturing animation with CPU-based rendering engines like Corona and V-Ray is a very time-consuming and difficult task, and we can't easily test and check various things before final output. To solve this problem, Corona uses NVIDIA's AI upscaling, which increases the speed of our results by up to four times. Note that this feature should only be used in testing, as it causes flickering in the actual render. We can enable this feature for normal rendering from the Scene section. We can also refer to the Performance section for interactive rendering. In normal mode, moving the scene takes a lot of time to render. By enabling it, you will see that we can see it at a higher speed. Also, things have been added to facilitate communication between the artist and the client, including collaboration and virtual tours. With collaboration, you can share renders with clients via frame buffer and cloud and receive corrections through comments and markup. Also, with the help of virtual tour, 360 renderings can be viewed and shared with clients via frame buffer and cloud without the need for other software. This is also one of the features of Corona 12, update 1. I hope this tutorial has helped you understand the new features. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support us. See you next video.